Hello everyone, I'm back, long time no see. So first I do want to address the posting schedule. I will try to post at least once a week because now I'm on summer break, yay! Today's video will be about me testing a paint your own squishy kit. This kit says that the squishies are large and according to the pictures, they are really big. Look at that. It's bigger than a whole hand. Now, I'm not really sure about this because judging from the size of the box, three giant squishies couldn't possibly fit in here. And just for a little comparison, I brought about the same size of a squishy that I already had. It's an ice cream cone, and I also brought a small heart squishy. Okay, so it says it comes with one ice cream cone that's supposed to be like this, one, I think that's a milkshake cup with a little straw. Oh, well, that's so cute. And then a cake. Yum. I can't wait to open this and see what's inside. One eternity later. Okay, so I just opened the box. And these are the squishies. They are not in plastic wrap, which is a little bit concerning. Uh, this one does have a smudge on it, so I'm not sure if this is new or used. Anyway, here is comparison from the ice cream cone in the kit versus the ice cream cone that I had. Now, they are very different in size. This whole ice cream is the same size as just the cone on the ice cream cone that I already had. So just as I expected, this is way smaller than was advertised and yeah, so that's what happened. This, they did not hold this next to a hand or any other squishy, so this could be any size and that does not mean that they falsely advertised this. Now the cake, I'm very surprised. I thought this would be much smaller. It's actually quite big. It's the size of both of my hands I expected it to be just the size of my palm, and I am not disappointed with this one. I love this one the most, and they are slow rise, just like it said. So now let's move on to the decorations. Okay, so now that everything is out of the box and organized, I was very happy to see that there are actually two paintbrushes included. It said it on the box, but I guess I didn't see it. I'm so happy because these are really nice quality and will probably not make streaky lines on the squishies. Okay, so let's see the instruction manual. So it's just showing a color coding palette on what colors to make and how you can make them. And it also says some tips to try to create new things. And it also shows all the material lists. I think I'm going to do the ice cream cone first because I just want to see how it turns out. And this is not my favorite anyway. So in case the paint is splotchy and weird, then I don't want to paint the other ones with this. So let's see, what color should I use? Yellow for a cone. I'm actually quite surprised. The paint is going on very well and the material is really blending in. I expected the paint to be weird and splotchy and not to stick to the material well at all. But that's actually the opposite of what I am seeing here. I think this will make a really nice squishy paint. And I'm going to finish this and then we will see the results. Okay, so I just finished painting the cone. Oops, missed a little spot there. And anyway, the paint is adhering very well to the foam, surprisingly, and it's just, it's already drying. The paint is drying so quickly. I literally just finished painting this, and look, nothing is coming off on my fingers. Well, 
tiny bit, but that's because it's not fully dry. Anyway, I am going to finish the entire ice cream and then I will show you the results once it's fully dried. Okay, so I just finished painting my squishy. It's still wet. I chose to make it a sunset ice cream, so it's a gradient from yellow and I made orange, like a little orange dry brush to red and I have these little white chocolate chips and then I have some hot fudge on the top. I am making myself hungry. I want some hot fudge. So I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to move on to the other squishies. Okay, so I just finished painting all of the squishies. Uh, they're not fully dry, but I will show you what they look like right now. I added some hot fudge on the top. That's the only wet part left about the ice cream cone. Yeah, we all know. I want some hot fudge. Anyway, it looks really good. It's really squishy. The paint is not cracking so far. It actually helped the squish a bit. I know that might sound weird, but it really did. Okay, so the next one is this. I chose, instead of to keep it as a milkshake, I chose to make it into a hot chocolate. See, there's a tiny little drop of fudge at the top. And anyway, the same thing happened. It squishes even better now. I don't know what the paint did, but it's so good. The cake is still, still, no. still, still quite wet because it is so big, but this is what it looks like so far. Uh, yeah, it's still wet, but this is what it looks like and I put little layers and it's really cute. Not fully dry yet, but very cute. And none of them are seeming to crack so far when I squish them, which is quite interesting because I expected them to crack almost instantly. Instead, it's just like it's merged with the foam and has stained it, which is really good. And it's not that splotchy. I only did one layer each, but it's, I'd have to say that this painting kit is really good and I'm going to link it in the description below so you can try it out yourself. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button. I hope this experience was entertaining and electrifying. See you next time. I expected to the plate to I expected to the plate to I expected to the plate to Don't miss a minute. Subscribe, hit that notification bell and leave a like.